Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna be talking about mechanical features of motors and those features that are available that we match them up for the environment that they're gonna be used in. And to help us out is an expert who's been on the show before, Dave Felt from Baldor ABB. Hi, hey, Tom. Welcome back, man. Thank you, great to be back. Always good to have you on the show because you're always very informative. And um, you know, when we talk about features, I know we're talking like heavy dust and dirt, hot, cold, wet, dry. Did Tom Brady get a hold of a motor and <laughs> deflate it? So, no, let's talk about those features. Right, motors are run in so many types of conditions. Matching the proper construction feature to meet the demands of the environment will ensure maximum life of the motor and the best total cost of ownership for the user. And by features, we're talking about enclosures, we're talking about paint, coatings, mounting styles, sealing. All right, Dave, let's start with the different types of enclosures. Well, motor enclosures fall into one of two different categories. The first category is TE, which means totally enclosed. And here in front of us is a TEFC, totally enclosed fan cooled motor. In this case, air is pulled by the fan through the fan shroud and then blown across the ribbed body of the motor thereby cooling the motor. So the rib design, that helps the cooling. Correct, and without that, there's another style known as TENV. In this case, the motor relies on convection for cooling because there's no vents or openings. There's also an enclosure known as TEAO, totally enclosed air over, which are typically designed for fan applications where the air movement from the fan it's driving actually aids the cooling of the motor. There's also the LMFAO, which is just a rocking motor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, probably not. Um, so are all motors totally enclosed except for this one, which looks like it's pretty wide? Open. They're not. Uh, actually, the second category would be, not, would be not TE or an open motor. This type of enclosure allows air to circulate through the windings for cooling. Open motors are typically used indoors in areas where the environment is relatively clean. An example of a motor with an open enclosure, or ODP, is open drip proof. It's designed to prevent liquid from falling into the motor within a vertical 15 degree angle. Okay, um, well let's say, what about hazardous environments, like in, um, oh I don't know, Sharknado? <laughs> well, I would think that that's gonna be a salt water application, so, but like in this that. case, if you talk about hazardous, we generally think about an XP enclosure, or explosion proof. These motors are really designed very differently, so we'll save that for another day. Sounds good, because I love explosions. We'll have, we'll have <laughs> to just blow something up in the studio here. Okay, now what about the different paint coatings? I, I see things are different are on the outside. Well, now, now, why are these all different? They are, and there's a reason for that, certainly. Uh, environment, maybe? maybe. Absolutely. Uh, in places such as a food and beverage plant, there's a need for wash down uh, of the equipment for health and safety reasons. Motors used here have to be able to withstand a high pressure spray, which is why typically typical paint is not the best solution. Instead, we look to WD enclosures or epoxy paint such as an electrostatically applied epoxy paint with an autophoretic primer, which are found on the Baldor wash down motors. So you've got to match the paint to the proper application because you don't want to paint. It's not good for health and safety. You're going to get maybe some paint chips or something on you. You, you need something that's going to be environmentally safe and safe for everybody if, if it rushes over. It. Absolutely. Okay. Other examples of coating are white epoxy or paintless motors like Baldor SSE, super efficient stainless steel motors. These are ideal for wash down environments. And, and that's what we have for something like right here? That's correct. See, now, and I thought they matched the paint color to the decor. So I'm, I'm just totally lost on all this. <laughs> now, I also notice I'm looking at the drive ends. These are different as well. Now, why do we have different drive well, ends? That's because the mounting styles of motors come in different configurations. Most fall into one of two styles, a foot mounted or a C face mounting. Foot mounted motors have some type of a drive component on the shaft end, such as a shiv or a coupling where a C-face motor or flange mounted motor are used when coupled or close coupled typically to a C-face input of a gearbox. In this case, the motor is mounted with bolts through the holes found on the face of the drive end of the motor. Also worth noting is D-flange mounting. This is a special adapter flange on the output of the motor that's typically bolted directly to the machine that it's driving. You mentioned earlier about sealing, and, and what do we need to know about that? I'm thinking about seal contaminants and stuff, right? Well, the key to keeping motors running is keeping contaminants out. We talked yeah. about the enclosure. We mentioned that because totally enclosed motors just are just that, but there's still an opening in which contaminants can sneak in. This is the path along the motor shaft. This is where seals are critical. And of course the seals keep all the bad stuff out. Correct, we need to use quality seals. 
Most motors have a lip style V ring for tougher applications. You might want to think about using something like an Impro seal to keep those contaminants out. Okay. They protect the bearings in the motor, which are located in the motor end bell where the shaft comes out. And you know, we, we know from other how to videos. Bearing protection is so important. And you know, when you think about that, we talk about all these different features, but it's all those small features add up to one big protective picture. And that's for the vast array of operating conditions, depending upon what environment these motors are going to be used in. You got it, Tom. Thanks, Dave. Once again, informative. Dave Felt from Baldor ABB. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today about these motors, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Talk to the rep. Say, hey. I saw Dave Felt on that how-to video. I have some questions, and they'll be able to help you out. And hopefully this will help you with your practical application. We had our safety glasses on the counter just in case we were going to do something that was kind of like a demonstration. But remember, let's say you're on the job site, you're working with one of these motors, installing it, mounting it, taking care of the seal or whatever. Make sure you wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. Safety is always number one. And as I like to say, number two, watching other MI How To videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. A lot of great informative stuff here at Motion Industries. Thanks for watching today.